Yeah, what's up guys, Mods here, back with another video. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to have flow in your edit. This will be an updated velocity tutorial since in my last video, which like blew up insanely, it has 110,000 views until this date. I didn't explain much, but you guys loved it. So I'm back with another more detailed video to make sure every single one of you guys understand. But before we start, make sure to check out my Discord server. The link to that will be in the description down below. We help each other there with editing, announce editing contest with prizes and much more. Also, if you'd like me to edit clips for you, message me on Twitter at mods himself to do some business and discuss prices. And um, last but not least, my project files and editing packs are available on my payhip for a really cheap price. You can find them on payhip.com slash mods. I will also put a Black Ops Cold War sound effects pack uh, on there soon for sale. And yeah, without further delay, let's get into how to master velocity in Vegas Pro. So guys, we are here on Vegas now. The first thing you gotta do is press on the settings icon on the top right. Um, make sure your width is set to 1920, your height is set to 1080. And your frame rate is to 59.9, which is basically 60 FPS. So copy these settings and press OK. This is a very important part, actually. Uh, now import your clips. I already did to mine. So I've got uh, two Warzone clips, but, but I'm going to do one for this tutorial. Um, not make it long. You know what I'm saying? Now drag your song to the timeline. I already did that song. And actually check the song and see where you want to actually uh, start your start with your edit with your actual clip and where you want your first shot. So let me listen to the song real quick. So this is the beat of the song like the hard beat you know what i'm saying so i want my shot my first shot to be there so what, what i'm going to do is locate this shot so and press on it as always and do m on your keyboard to place a marker so basically press m it's gonna bring up this orange thing over here which is a marker to locate like your beat and now uh we located where i want my first shot so we need to now to locate where I want my first clip to go in, so... So basically where the clip is going to start. So when he, sa when he says just sleepwalking, I want my clip to start. So now right click and insert video track. So basically my clip starts here. And my first shot is here. Now continue uh, finding beats. I'm putting markers on HP. This is my second beat. This is my third beat. And this is my fourth beat. Because I'm only using one clip for this edit, uh, I actually don't need to add a lot of markers. So, because this is my first shot here. And I want my second shot to be here. Let me just let you guys watch the clip so you get an idea. So, this clip. Let me just mute the song. So, it's a one kill and a second one. So, double. So I actually want my first shot on this marker and the other shot on the other one. So uh, now uh, drag your clip down. I already did that. And find the first shot. So with your arrow keys, move. And if you're like zoomed out a lot, it's not going to be exact. So zoom in. And now find, like go left, find uh, the exact moment your character shoots. So this is my exact moment. You can tell that by this um, shot counter over here, like how many bullets if you have in your gun. So it was on four and now it's on three. Once you locate where he shoots, 
press S on your keyboard to cut the clip into two parts and delete this part over here. So you got only the shot now. Now drag your clip to the first beat. So we are actually said we're gonna put our first shot here. So drag it here. And now uh, you should drag the clip to actually start on this beat. So um, zoom in a bit and uh, highlight this and when your cursor changes and it says stream event starts, drag and hold so your clip will meet with the first markers. And I said uh, I want to finish my clip on this marker so press on the marker, press S, press on this clip right here and delete it. So. This is my clip here. You know what I'm talking about. Now we're actually finished with syncing. And now comes the interesting part, which is velocity. So to actually understand what velocity is, it's the speed that the clip is going through at certain points. So that's like the best definition I could um, say for velocity. Now right click on your clip, insert remove envelope, and press on velocity. That will bring up the screen line over here. So when you bring it up, the velocity should be at 100%, which is like one uh, times one speed. It's gonna be normal. And you can actually understand velocity by messing with this. You can honestly go to uh, this like track and drag it like see the velocity more and now uh, when you actually add the velocity line it's gonna be 100 as I said you can actually understand how it works if you put it to 50% this will do like 0 0.5 slow motion you know what I'm saying but I, I'm gonna bring it up to normal velocity which is 100 so that's like what velocity is to be honest now what i like to do this is my method this is my style and velocity um i go to the start of the clip and like add a little um fast and slow movement on the start and to do that you should press on the first marker go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten with your arrow keys go with your right arrow keys 10 frames to the right Right click and add a point there. I already added one. You can add a point by um, double clicking on the line here. It's easy. You don't have to do right click and add point. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to delete those because I don't need them. And we actually got this point. Right click and do 50. So it actually starts with a high speed and goes to a low speed. But this point at the start should be set to a thousand. This point over here should be dragged up to a thousand percent and you got this really smooth fast and slow velocity but to make it smoother you should actually right click this line in between and do fast you can see how it starts um, as a fast velocity and goes to 50 percent make sure uh, yeah it's like actually so smooth you know what i'm saying now go to the first shot. On shots, uh, what I like to do with velocity is go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the right, to the left, I'm sorry. Add a point there. Go back to my marker. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to the right and add a point. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the left from the marker and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to the right from the marker. Now add a point to whatever you want here, wherever you want, and uh, drag it till it meets with this marker. It's going to lock with it, insta lock, and then drag it to like 500. And now this is an important rule for every like velocity. Like every time you do velocity, you should do this one. Going from a slow point, which is 50%, to a high point, which is 500%, this line in between should be set to slow every time and when going from a fast velocity to a slow one this line should be 
set to fast, so right click it and do fast. And let's do the exact same thing on this marker, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, add a point, go back to the marker, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, add your next point, add a point wherever you want and drag it till it locks with this and do 500. Right click slow on this line and right click fast on this one. Now do the exact same thing here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, add your point. 7, 8, add your point and add another point and do 500 fast and slow. Slow and fast. Sorry. Now go to the end. Once you reach the end, it's like the beginning, but to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Add a point here. Add a point, whatever you want here, and uh, drag it up to the right and up. So it meets with this corner. Right click and do slow in the line between. And uh, you're basically done with velocity here. So the rules you should memorize is at the start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. At the start of your clip and at the end is the exact same thing but to the left. And on the shots it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are the, th the things you should uh, study. Let's see how this looks now. This looks really bad. It's not synced at all. But you can fix that by actually understanding what's happening over here. Because we're going from a low, a high point to a low point, it actually messes the actual speed of the clip. So to fix that, you should actually see if... Uh, if this frame is after the shot or before the shot. This frame right here is before the shot, so um, hold your clip and drag it to the right because it's the, you can see actually uh, something in cha is changing in the screen. So when you drag it to the left, your character shoots. So keep it when the character shoots. Now everything is messed up here, I know, but you can fix that by going to the start of your clip going to the edge of it when it says stream event start hold and drag to the right till it meets with the marker go to the end of your clip hold and drag to the right till it meets with this marker now it's still not synced in some clips you, you gotta do that multiple times in order to, to be fixed so this is where I shoot and uh, go to the first to the start of it and drag it till it meets with the marker Boom, this is actually uh, synced now. As you can see, the shot is right here. Now go to the end and let it meet with the marker. Now, let's preview this. By the way, guys, I actually got lucky with this shot over here. It actually got synced well, like, you know what I'm saying? But in certain instances, it's not gonna be synced. So. So this is not synced here, so in order to do that, you actually want to mess with this velocity over here. So like, it's going to be locked with the marker, just uh, go to a high point and a lower point, see when your character shoots. Make sure this timeline thing over here is on the actual shot and go back and drag with this velocity. So this is the exact same frame where I shoot. So it's gonna be synced well, so. And the reason I add this like velocity at the end is for transitions, you know. Gives it this really smooth, slow to fast movement. And yeah, basically this is like the exact same pattern for velocity I use for every edit, guys. Trust me, so. On every edit this will work. You might wanna change the values here from 500 to like lower them or higher them according to the song it actually depends on the song so but this is like the exact uh, standard thing for velocity here and um, if you guys enjoyed uh, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new 
and i hope you guys understand if you have any more questions according to velocity make sure to hit me up on discord i will be more than happy to uh, help you and there is more actual people on my discord that can help you so uh, yeah so if you're new make sure to subscribe as i said and if you'd like to support me and support the channel my donation link will be in the description down below and uh if you want me to edit for you just hit me up on twitter we can do business together and just want to thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you later peace out